Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. You can kind of see it's uh, sundown. I wish I could tell you that I got a lot of work done up here today. So it's about 6 o'clock, March 3rd, Monday. That one says 24 degrees. That one doesn't have enough sunlight to fire up. And this one says 26 or in the land of Celsius. Minus three. So, it's already cold. I like to come up here every day, every other day, just to make sure that, uh, you know, no homeless people or raccoons or skunks or anything moved in. So, um, if they did, they're being nice and quiet. So, I guess I'll let them stay. Yeah, I, once again, I just double check there are no leaks or nothing nothing happened nothing disappeared so yep the upper garage looks good well I figured I'd bring you guys up here for the walk and to get a time stamp you shut this place down that um, light in the ceiling that shines down is actually a heat lamp and um, feels good. It actually feels very nice. Not quite sunshine, but when you're working in there, it kind of keeps the top of your head warm, your shoulders. It's actually helpful. I think it burns 100, 150 watts, something like that. So it's not free to run, but it's not too horrible. And here we are into the garage. Disconnect this. So, the topic of today's video is, I guess, cool, cool stuff. And I don't know if any of you guys would like to share. Perhaps, I mean, it'd be good if you did. But we all kind of have, oh, sorry for the darkness, um, we all have kind of a lot of stuff. But what do you have? that you kind of consider cool, right? That you kind of, you kind of wanted for years and years and you managed to get your hot little hands on it. I have a couple of items that I've always kind of wanted and over the years I kind of found, um, actually there are three items. Uh, the first of all well, is a parking meter. And uh, if you can listen, Hear it clicking. I put a quarter in it and I got my 15 minutes for the quarter. This is all I got of the meter. Um, the outside casing was not there. I managed to get this thing, I don't know, it's five or ten bucks. It wasn't very expensive. So that's one cool thing that I had been looking for for years and years and I finally got it a couple of years ago, I think. This is something else I've always considered cool. It keeps actually pretty decent time. You can see I paid 15 bucks for it. Actually, I probably paid 10. He wanted 15. What it is is a speedometer for school bus. If you open it up, there's actually a thing that kind of goes in the back here around thing with times marked on it and there's a little stylus here and depending on the speed you're going the stylus moves up and down which would mark on the paper what time you were speeding and I remember as a kid if you went over 55 miles per hour this red light would come on and the thing would buzz I mean I got the key with it the whole bit so those are two out of the three things I always kind of considered cool when I've, you know, when I'm out there looking for stuff. Oh, I also found this today. I thought I thought that was very apropos considering what's going on. And the last cool thing, and I like this thing I had been looking for since I was like a youth, like 12 years old, 10 years old. What it is 
it's a uh, dynamo for telephone system turn the crank here and uh, you get DC out of it DC power out of it typically I don't know I, re I remember as a kid having a uh, light bulb like a um, it's in a box here but I remember a um, like 100 watt light bulb and you were able to kind of light it up but not all the way so I don't know maybe you put out 35 40 watts maybe 50 so yeah those are the three three things that once I kind of grew up and uh, wanted to track things down from uh, from my young days those are those are three things that when I I found them I thought they were really cool and I and I had to own them oh there we are I don't know guys it's been cold out today it's supposed tonight it's supposed to go down to minus 12 or so which I don't know in Celsius was that six from zero I don't, I don't know minus I'm not quite sure I can't do that conversion in my head. So anyway, it's going to be freaking cold tonight. Um, oh, that would be 42 degrees. It'd probably be like minus 20, give or take a foot and a half um, in Celsius. So with that and with as cold as it's been over the uh, last day or so, not putting a lot of time in outside if i can bring the fender in and work on it i i've been doing that but um really haven't haven't been killing myself to get out um got the pellet stove going here or the wood stove going so there we are i am burning my last quarter tank of oil um, I think I've showed you guys right I have two 275 gallon tanks in the basement I've gone through a tank and a half so I'm on my last what is that 130 130 gallon um, batch of, of oil yeah something else that that amuses me for whatever reason I've uh, I kind of like these flicker lights I don't know if you guys can see them flickering. Yeah, there you go. Lanterns with flickers in them. Two red ones. That one died. Bolt died. And in the land of solar. I don't know if you can kind of see that in the background. Yeah, those things charge up from uh, solar power. I think the pumpkins at this point are about dead. Um, some of them could be aimed a little better that would help as I make it all dark in here and you guys can't see anything all right well I've been babbling for about eight minutes I don't know if you guys want to share anything cool that you've managed to collect over the years um, please do most of us have tools right we're always full of every tool imaginable so um, right and there's another few of those in here though those are necessary and I do enjoy owning tools um, they're not cool I kind of consider these uh, these items my parking meter my school bus, um, <laughs> I, uh, time and uh, measures what speed you've been doing. Boy, they pulled it out of that bus. That bus, when he had 138,000, 139,000 miles on it, it was still kind of young by today's standard. My uh, telephone, I don't know, too dark to see it. I even have a bus first aid kit. Look at that. I need to do is buy a school bus okay folks thanks for watching commenting subscribing um, remember to keep your feet down your tires down your tracks down uh, live love and have a great time
head up, steering wheel up, handlebars up, and we'll catch you on uh, the next episode of The Horde. Hopefully I'm uh, doing more important things than uh, digging out crap. <laughs> Take care now.